<laughs> Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? All right, it's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. Me! I'm going to pick Jeremy. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. So what are your favorite subjects? My best subjects are art, world history, and music. Okay, the $1,000 question is... Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. I'll peek at my classmate's answer. Let's have a look at what your classmate wrote down. I feel good about this one. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. You've got $1,000. Yes! You've got your classmate up here with you. Okay, the $2,000 question is... Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got $2,000. All right. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. Please pick me. I'm going to pick Juliet. Which subject do you want? Which subject do you feel confident with? My favorites are definitely art, social studies, and measurement. Okay. The $5,000 question is... Locking in. You've got $5,000. All right. You've got your classmate up here with you. All right, for $10,000, may we see the question, please? Locking in. Now, where I come from, they call that a right answer. Excellent. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. Me, me, me. I'm going to go with Joy. Pick your next subject. What do you think we should do here? Well, I think I'm good at earth science. Hmm. All right, thanks. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You've got $25,000. Woohoo! You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Let's pick a subject. Okay. This question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won $25,000. Choose the correct spelling for judgment. I'm going to lock in my answer. You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Woohoo! Outstanding! It's time to pick another classmate. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to go with Luke. Pick your next subject. What do you think I should pick? Well, my favorite subjects are inventors and social study. Okay, you're playing for $100,000. Lewis has locked in his answer. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. That is incorrect. Ugh. Oh, no. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. 
Yes, you're moving on. Your classmate just saved your bacon big time. Yes, yes. Thank you. You've got $100,000. At least your classmate didn't sleep through the fifth grade. You're awesome. Thank you. Pick another subject. Okay. You're playing for $175,000. Your classmate is lo locking in. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Awesome. Outstanding. You're down to your last classmate. Let's pick a subject. What are you good at? Well, I think I'm good at math and animal science. Okay, the $300,000 question is... I'll go ahead and copy my class meetings. You're going for $300,000. You've got $300,000. Yes! Okay, for half a million dollars, here's the question. Locking in. You've got $500,000. Excellent. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? You do understand what you're going to be playing for next, right? Absolutely. It's the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. Let's see the subject of the million dollar question. And there it is, the million dollar subject. One million dollars. I'm going to go for it. You've made it all the way to the one million dollar question. Here it is. Found in the Pacific Northwest, what is the name of the deepest lake in the U.S.? One million dollars is on the line here, so take your time and think about it very carefully before you decide to lock in your answer. Oh my, I can't take much more of this. I'm going to lock in my answer. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. Oh, boy. You've won one million dollars! Yeah! I won! Incredible! I just don't believe this is happening. Become a believer, pal. You just won a million dollars. Congratulations! Unlike the majority of our contestants, you are smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody. Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Let's meet our next player. It's time to pick which fifth grader you want to help you out when the questions get too hard. Pick me. I'm going to pick Alicia. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Your class 
I feel good about this one. I'm locking on Jeff. I'm going to go with George. I'm going to lock in my answer. I'm going to pick Juliana. Locking in. I'm going to go with Alicia. Locking in. We got one thousand dollars. Excellent. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though. You're right. You're right. All right. You've got one thousand dollars. That's not the right answer. Ah! Oh. No. Oh man. I wonder if your partner can get you out of this one. That question was hard enough to even stump the fifth graders. That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. Oh no, I can't believe I missed that one. Okay, you're playing for two thousand dollars. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Locking in. to peak. May we please see your classmates answer. If you're happy with that answer, go ahead and lock it in. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got two thousand dollars. Awesome. You've got two thousand dollars. All right. You've got two thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah. It's time to pick another classmate. Ooh, ooh. I'm going to pick Jeremy. Okay, you're playing for $5,000. Jeremy locked in his answer very quickly. Locking in. I'm going to pick Juliet. Locking in. I'm going to pick Juliet. Locking in. You got that one right. Yes. You've got five thousand dollars. That is incorrect. Oh no! Oh man! Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. And the fifth graders have done it again. Yes.
You've got $5,000. Okay, the $10,000 question is... Locking in. I'm going to lock in my answer. I'm going to lock, lock in, in her my answer, answer very quickly. You've got ten thousand dollars. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. Excellent. You've got $10,000. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. Over here. I'm going to go with Lucas. Okay, you're playing for $25,000. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. I'm going to go with George. I'll go ahead and copy my classmates. I'm going to pay Alicia. I'm going to lock in my answer. You've got $25,000. Woohoo! You've got $25,000. Woohoo! You've got $25,000. Woohoo! Okay, you're playing for $50,000. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. Locking in. Locking in. That is correct. Yes. You've got fifty thousand dollars. Excellent. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Excellent. It's time to call a new classmate to the podium. Over here! I'm gonna go with Juliet. Okay, you're playing for $100,000. Juliet locked in her answer very quickly. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. I'm going to pick Juliet. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. It's you and me, Juliet. Locking in. You've got $100,000. Excellent. Excellent.
you've got $100,000. Yes! You probably just picked the first answer you saw, but luckily it was the right one. Yes! All right, for $175,000, may we see the question, please? Your classmate is locked in. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. I'll go ahead and copy my classmate's answer. You've got $175,000. Yes! Woo, you answered that one fast. Too bad we're going for accuracy instead of speed. Oh man, that's just incredible. Okay, it's time, it's time to check out your classmate's answer. And the fifth graders have done it again. Nice. You've got $175,000. You've got $175,000. Yes! You're down to your last classmate. All right, here's our question for $300,000. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. Locking in. You've got three hundred thousand dollars. Woohoo! You sure answered that one fast. You also answered it wrong. Ugh. Oh no. And the correct answer is... I'm sorry, but you have flunked out of school. Oh no, I can't believe I missed that one. Sometimes you just gotta go with your gut. But this ain't one of those times. Oh. No, oh man. We've reached the end of the line, my friend. You just, you just flunked, flunked out, of, out school. of school. Wow, I just flunked out. Okay, this next question is worth half a million dollars. Locked in, his response. Locking in. You've got $500,000. All right. You've made it all the way to the $1 million question. Here it is. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. There's right answers, and then there's wrong answers. And that belongs in the second group.
Oh! You're kidding. Oh, no. And the correct answer is... That's all she wrote, partner. You just flunked out. I am such an idiot. Goodbye, everybody. We'll see you again next time. Hi, I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? 